I wondered, um, first of all, what uh, mechanisms you have in the governance of the LPs to ensure that property management and asset management fees are market, uh, market driven and not internal, uh, or at least uh, they're matched to the market. And secondly, is it outside of your mandate, uh, I hope, to stay away from greenfield development? So the two questions, first question is, you know, are your market, are your fees um, market valued uh, and competitive? And the second question, are you looking at doing any greenfield developments? For greenfield means starting with raw land and then doing development. Um, it's not within our mandate uh, to do la ground up uh, development. It's not, we're not prohibited of it. We're not prohibited from doing that within our LP agreement. We have chosen not to do that because our focus is on cash flowing uh, investments. Your second question was, uh, are our property management fees uh, market value and competitive? Um, yes, uh, we benchmark and we've just actually gone through the process of negotiating um, property management contracts with all of these uh, contracts, contractors, and uh, they are, um, competitive and sometimes uh, extremely competitive because we've been able to, uh, you know, group properties together and say, you know, if we give you this group of properties, you know, can we get a better fee? In commercial properties, most property management fees are paid by the tenant. So uh, we really work to make sure that our property management fees are recoverable from the tenant. Um, and that's the other you know, reason why we have to watch to make sure that they're competitive because if the property management fees are too high, then that ultimately affects the amount of rental increases you can get because the tenant's in interested in their total cost, both their rent and their operating costs and their property taxes. So it's, we need to manage all of those costs um, to enable us to have room to move rents over time. There aren't a lot of uh, private uh, real estate limited partnerships in Canada, but there are a few and we've managed to put together a bit of a database on how they're structured and what their fee structures are. We also had our uh, portfolio managers take a look at, because we also manage REITs, to take a look at all of the detailed public information on the REITs. So we know what the costs that the REITs are charging to manage the REITs based on the size of the REIT. And we know that our fees are extremely competitive with respect to both the REITs and the real estate limited partnerships. So we have an external benchmark that we can use to make sure that those fees are very reasonable.